Hey there lovely people, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel once again. Today I am uh, going to do a winter list once again, eight fragrances from this uh, other setup. Um, perhaps later tonight I will go back uh, and I will do a few more um, reviews. I will upload together because end of the month I am doing a lot of reviews. So I am uh, joined, accompanied by my trusted key, absolutely no sugar. Time is around 7.30ish. And, uh, you know, I do not leave here for a while, like whole month almost of uh, all October. I stayed in the other place because of the noise. I cannot take noise. I understand some of you are very annoyed when I say I apologize. I'm sorry. But if you stay here, you'd hear there's unbearable noise. Now we have a construction site that is still leveled with my level. Uh, and it's making huge noise. Upstairs, some neighbors at this moment, they are not making it, but you'll hear. And also there's a guy who plays loud music. So I did complain, absolutely no um, cure. So I am a little bit upset about that, paying the rent. Uh, but sadly, you know, the noise level is just horrible. So uh, let's see what you get. Uh, I'm having, I'm recovering from my illness, but I'm trying to control my diabetes because it's sugar problem basically causing all the other things. So keep me in your prayers, okay? So the eight fragrance that I picked up today, I think upcoming winter time, the colder weather, I'm going to rock them a lot. And they are particularly built for winters. So let's see, you can say some of these are uh, discontinued, hard to find, but worth the money. You know, I'll show you one by one. I reviewed them all, check out my review, and if possible, hunt them down uh, because they're worthy. First fragrance is Le Bleu de Seba Isimiake. This fragrance is a gem, just like many of the fragrances people do not mention. Okay. Uh, this is one of those perfumes only the real reviewers who are not influencers, they know this and they talk about it. It's now getting harder to find and more pricey. I have this bottle only left, 75 mil, and I bought it from one of my brothers. This is very different. This one, I think, has cypress note, and this has some green notes. This is a very medicinal green, like if you like Amouage Bracken Man or Beach Hut, it's in that nature. It's like very complex, very long lasting, and I think this will do particularly well. Not a blue perfume, by the way. It will go very well in colder months if you're wearing it daytime. Check it out, okay? So this is a fragrance worth hunting down. Le Bleu de Set. They also have a sport version. I used to have it more fresh. So next one I'm going to show you is a trusted buddy. This is one of those uh, fragrances that I always, always love. It's easy love. It's a sweetheart. Perhaps tonight I will do a uh, top 10 designer fragrance. Perhaps it will make it. Perhaps it won't. But one of the best designers, Victor and Ross Spice Bomb. This fragrance right here, a lot of memories with it. Uh, since I started my journey, I always wanted Spice Bomb because of the beauty of the bottle. This has a lot of flankers. People usually like the extreme version, uh, Spice Bomb Extreme. But I personally am a big fan of the original because the extreme version is a little bit of a hookah tobacco and also a little bit of a creamy vanilla, like more goes to more oriental side. This thing right here, man, this is just pink pepper, like peppery, sweet, citrusy, tobacco, very playful fragrance. This fragrance is a must have if you're in fragrance game, if you haven't tried it, very elegant bottle. Prices are high, okay, but I will not uh, say it's not. I uh, just going double spritz on my neck because I love smelling it, okay. Some people say, is it worthy having if you already have Bulgari's Man in Black? I would say yes, this fragrance is definitely worthy. It is very interesting, works really well in colder setup. This is called Victor and Rob Spice Bomb. Next one I'm going to show you, I'm going quickly because I want to show top five more. This is another discontinued fragrance that not much talk about, not much hype. Uh, usually the original of this is more hype you know, in the community that has more hype, more love and more mention. Sorry, I think the level, see OCDs. Yeah, I think trying to level. Yeah. <laughs> so this fragrance is called Prada Amber Intense. This fragrance right here, many people wear in summer and make the mistake of judging it too quickly. I did the same thing when I bought it uh, somewhere in 2016. I went to one of the resorts in Langkawi, not Langkawi, Kuala Lumpur. I think it was just one hour drive. It was, I think, most probably Port Dixon, okay? It was a very hot day. We were flying kites, our friends and all that. I was wearing this on an Eid day, okay? It was a holiday. I thought it would be a perfect fragrance to wear. But when I wore it, it felt like it disappeared within one hour, one thing. Second thing, it was too uh, complex. It's like compound, not perfume. It's more waxy. It's like a very thick kind of fragrance, but it was not really doing its thing like Prada Amber does. Then I used it in winter time in Bangladesh. This shine through. Like this one is similar to if I can show you, I'm going to sell up this bottle today, but it's very similar to Tom Ford Noir EDP. They are the same class, but this was more affordable. Now they are the same pricing. Okay. So if you like Tom Ford Noir, this is actually smell of 
black soap according to coach rob 619 definitely check it out i think this perfume will do great in winter but i am but purum intense once again checking the mic because now it is i'm a bit terrified because sometimes the sound goes off i finish the whole video then i realize there's no sound sorry about the key thing it's helping my voice let's go next one of my favorite playful fragrances i keep showing this because i like this the most from this line like i think uh this one and perhaps the I think it was parfa yeah these things are really really good this is uh like carina herrera bad boy elixir cobalt or cobalt elixir okay one of those names the whole name i forget this is something very lovely the original cobalt is very nice freshy for winter you can sorry summer good freshy with longevity uh, no issue but this thing it is that invictus elixir you know like invictus victory elixir that and this shares the same same uh like platform or the scent profile but this thing is just lovely i cannot wear and i cannot wait to wear this it's very sweet it's very much like a tropical fresh like a mango slash milky and then coconutty so the overall smell is really really sweet it is a safe blind buy the bottle is very lovely too blue black kind of combination this is going to be like in the same like scandal purom ultra male all these fragrances combined uh, if you like those this is a must try okay if you're going out late night this is a kind of fragrance it reminds me of black excess type of fragrances okay bad boy cobalt elixir next one my favorite okay now i'm talking about like order wise this is number 4 this is a classic this fragrance uh, is something i always always recommend no matter how many new fragrances appear in the market and i when i do top 10 best designer fragrance ever this one always is there this is called givenchy's pie okay uh, not much hype around this okay uh, reason being because it's a house called givenchy if this was a house of dior or chanel it would get so much more mention i'll just tell you straight and this fragrance perhaps has few flankers but i haven't found a better flanker than this i smell three in total neo uh, pie neo and then pie there was this one blue one forgot the name Yeah, now you now you hear they're dragging. Okay, so the other one uh, was I think perhaps uh, I forgot the name, but I tried all, but this was remain this remains my favorite. Really beautiful bottle, juice color is nice. It's a boozy, sugary vanilla, very long lasting, very sexy. Works all year round. Uh, late night, if you're going to go like a leather jacket, which is brown in color, uh, pair that with this. Okay, I assure you one thing: this will project, and it has something in it. reminds me of uh, midnight in paris okay because the dreaminess very dreamy fragrance very beautiful unique i uh, want the best fragrance ever made givenchy's pie the next one is the most expensive here okay and i don't want to recommend these uh, like if you have to spend 200 something dollars don't do it but if you can get it under 200 170 180 uh, for this 100 ml it's worth it this is the best tom ford fragrance in my humble opinion and it's a big statement when in the crowd of uh, ombre leather uh, tuscan leather tom ford tobacco vinny these and that plenty out there right tom ford definitely has uh, some of the best uh, like shelves you know like they have so many collection but when i see this perfume and the discontinuation because it doesn't sell well it hurts me like black orchid this and that got their due credit this thing tom ford noir anthracite this perfume hardly any people talked about it when i tried it it was a dream for me to get this i would never sell this bottle never i'll never sell it even if i don't use it that much this fragrance is one of a kind this is a different a league this is a different kind of fragrance i just showed you tom ford noir it is in the same line they have tom ford noir extreme which i also like but this one is the niche quality this fragrance when you smell oh my god why is it so tight okay because i put a tape around it because okay i'll tell you why i put a little bit of a tape some of these caps are a little bit loose you know when you pick it up from the collection it comes off easily and the bottle falls okay so for that now you see no issue okay so this one you can buy a small little 50 ml or this and there i believe uh, are few dupes of this like similar to this i don't remember the name but get this tom ford man if you want to keep one tom ford in collection which is unique green uh, like mineral like it smells like there is like anthracite or anthracite i don't know how you would say it there is a compound right i never smell that but this smells like if you went to mars and if you smell some copper or something burning like amouage smoky fragrances leathers ash you know like memoir man this is in the same league 
but it's so beautiful it is spicy it is masculine it's strange nobody smells like you in winter if you're making an impression among thousand other people uh, tom ford no answer is like definitely my favorite fragrance from tom ford next one is again, again another fragrance last winter i wore it since then i haven't reached for it because this is so strong this fragrance is called uh, costume national soul they did release i think one more flanker out of after this and then costume national um uh, the perfume version i haven't tried those this is a fragrance that really served me well this is very beautiful juice nice amber color juice and this is basically amber fragrance very spicy amber very sweet sexy uh, i'll tell you what between tom ford uh, noir ambre okay not tom ford sorry isimiyake noir ambre and this sometimes i am confused which one is the best obviously i lean more towards the isimiyake one because that one has some sweetness and some sweet boozy factor this is more a uh, serious version of that okay this is still available i don't know i think so and the price point for this is so good i think with 150 bucks you can get it costume national soul remember this name this is a beast more fragrance it almost beats or same performances i think uh, mfk grand soir same same type same type of fragrance okay take a look at the juice color this is richness okay definitely give it a try costume national soul and i saved the very special one for the last and there are some questions regarding this okay like some people ask is this new formulation as good as before or the vintage no it's not uh, the vintage version of this which i'll show you this one this is sir luton's shergi uh, the juice is getting darker. This is going to get very dark, almost like black Afghano, like almost black color, black maroon color. Uh, it's with me for about five months now. Okay. And this thing is getting already more rich. But the vintage formulation of this was too bitter with the hay note, honey, and waxy. Uh, this is the tobacco that many people love. Serge Luton is my favorite. This one and Amre Sultan, two of my favorites. And they do have five o'clock gingerbread or something like that. What magic with this is it only works in winter only works in winter because of cold weather it loves cold weather so you smell all the richness of this fragrance when you give it some time keep it in your collection for four or five months this stuff is impressive okay no wonder i made this number one to take a look at the juice color i mean they're all pretty i mean take a look at them uh, these are all juice colors okay uh, but juice color doesn't matter if it doesn't smell great this one definitely check out shergi my favorite fragrance i do think it's worth investing in this kind of niche houses because they make you feel unique and not many people wear it only downside of this fragrance it does not project so much unless you sit in the ac or breeze start blowing or flowing or whatever uh, if it's stuck if there's no breeze people will not smell you okay but imagine like a nice overcoat in winter or a muffler or a hat or something you're just very cold outside having a tea like me and then some of you enjoying a little fag no no fag means cigarette if you're smoking a little bit outside and like man trying to stay warm you know this is warmth okay very beautiful and i think during dating this fragrance will be perfect search luton shergi this is my list so do let me know what are you uh who gonna wear or already what you're wearing in winter i'm gonna keep doing the winter list uh if you like them you can watch them have a nice day thanks for watching now i'm gonna sign out for the day Bye bye